All right, so this is how you do this. Okay, let me explain this for you guys now. So first things first, you decloak. You keep it range of 2,500. Okay, you then target it. You then use your analyzer. And now you're gonna notice that if you look at this, there's spots that have six connected things with one in the center that looks like this, okay? Those blue spots are called safe spots. This is the rule of six because there's six connecting things. Now, as long as you travel on these blue spots that I'm marking, and there's one here, 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 uh, all over here, there's one up here. As long as you travel on all of these, um, these beautiful blue spots, you will not get hit by anything bad on any of those blue spots unless the core is on one of those green spots that was around it, okay? So just remember that and watch the magic unfold. Three, 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 two. So this just happened, something bad happened on a blue spot, which means that the core is right on one of those other green spots, just like that. Look how easy that was to hack just because we used our blue spots, our safe spots, as I call them. That's the rule of six right there. And I will demonstrate this to you over and over and over again. If anybody comes in and asks again, I will demonstrate it over again. I teach everybody everything. And I use a program called Epic Pin, E P I C dash uh, P E N dot com, in order to, to write on the screen. You just have to run it in administrator mode and capture OBS and uh, display capture. And so that is how. That is how I do that. And I'm going to, yeah. I'm gonna do another one right now. I'm gonna do another one and I'm really excited for it. Um, so the other thing that you wanna keep in mind is that you don't always want to have to fight the viruses that you're attacking. So you'll notice that we're gonna mark all of our spots again. So we've got all of these lovely spots right here. And usually whenever I finish marking, I tend to descan. That's, that's a good time to de-skin. We're gonna recall our probes just to make sure that those nobody else has it. Okay, so we're good. And so we move this back. Uh, it was like that. Yeah. Okay, so now you're gonna go ahead and head down. Three, two. So now we're blocked here. This does not mean we have to immediately fight this virus. Two, one. These right here, white nodes, can be good or bad. So you wanna use them as a last resort. You wanna only click on them as a last resort. Like when you have no other option on what you can do. Two, two, one, one. I'll take that. Three, four, three, two, three, one. There's that. So now we have this right here that we want to fight because this there's that last core left to take. We're going to hit that. One, one, and there's that. So now we've cleared most of the map. Look how great we've done. We've cleared most of the map. So now we just have to figure out where the core is. So I'm gonna click over here. Two. Hmm. Feel like it's down here. Yeah, I feel like it's right down here actually. So I'm gonna do this and there it is. And that's typically because the core is usually directly diagonal across from wherever you started. If you're, if you're guessing, if, whenever you start guessing where it is, Go with the diagonal as your first goal. This is shitty ass loot though. It's because Serpentus is the worst. All right, keep it range, 2,500. Burn over there. What are the offset blue dots? Uh, the offset blue dots, I just moved it. I fixed it though. All right, so now we're here we go. Let's mark these all over again. Let's de-scan real fast. And mark everything for us. All of these. So I am using the Zugma analyze, um, Zugma analyzer thing, Merbobber. I can't. I don't know. Um, anyways, that means that I only have one like slot for for things that that are nice to me. So I want to use them relatively quickly. Like now. You want to destroy this as fast as possible. One, one. All right, and we're gonna destroy this as fast as possible. All right, unless it's like you want to, yeah, so there was one right there that I did not mark. Whee, we're gonna mark that. 
Are there any others? No. Sometimes I miss one, but it's okay. Two, three, two, all right, block. Two, one, there we go. All right, let's go up. Two, one, and there's the core, just like that. Beautifully done. Just because we were heading towards the blue dots, we found it. So by heading towards the blue dots, 4.5 million, that's a pretty canister. That's a pretty canister right there. Keep it range, 2,500. Another the microbe drive once, cycle it once. And here we go, off to it. Zugma, let's go. And the reason I'm using the Zugma is so that I can actually have this nifty little tool which allows me to block people from targeting me so that when I get into a fight, I can actually run away without them warp scrambling me. Um, it seemed like the best fit for my style of playing. A lot of people disagree with my fits quite often. Uh, I am new to fitting. But I'm stubborn as hell, and I like fitting on my own instead of taking other people's fits. So that's why that is like that. Okay, two, two, one, one. So one and one means that whatever is next to it has to be it, right? So there we go. Okay, immediately destroy this. One, one. There is that. Perfect. We're going to use this on this. Two, one, one. There's the core! Boom, bitch! All because we headed towards those blue dots. Thank you for following Monk. 2.8 million canister. Not bad. I'm hoping we get a really shiny one. I really want a really shiny one. I really want one. Alright, warp over there. Or micro warp drive over there, I suppose I should say. Alright, go, go, go. And turn that off. And Zugma. And B. Alright, we're still good on our D scan. I'm gonna mark all of these lovely spots here. So many spots to mark. Oh, uh, that's not a spot. Sometimes it's hard to see, unfortunately. I wish they would make it a little easier to see. Or, like, give me the ability to turn up the contrast or something. I think that's all of them. So, yes, that's all of them. Five, five, four, three, two, one. Immediately blocked. Ignore that. There's one right there, too. Look at that. Look at that. One, one. Huh. So that means right there, there is something there. Which makes me want to fight this. Uh, but there's the core, so no. See, imme don't immediately fight the viruses. Follow the blue dots first. Follow them as far as you can, and then fight the viruses. As soon as you have no other pass, then you fight the viruses. Keep it range, 2,500. Go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, Epic Pen is definitely an amazingly, immensely useful tool. So this is how we're going to do this. We're going to descan. I don't descan nearly enough. People rag on me about that all the time, and I do get killed for it quite often. Um, it's my own issues. I just, I get so focused on the game. Um... But that's kind of what makes exploring fun, right? Is like the fact that there is such a giant risk and you are taking such a giant risk with it. So five, four, five, five. See, we've already cleared all that. So now we're gonna go here. Three, immediately kill this. Because that suppresses your virus. Two, one, one, take that. So now we know that we've already cleared all of this, right? So we're gonna move up. One, Hmm. Hmm. All right. Four, three, two, one. Okay, kill this immediately. There's that. All right, let's see. I think the core is over here somewhere. The question is if we're going to be able to get over there. No, we're not. Yeah, we're going to get fucked. Okay, so we need we need we need something to restore us now. Oh shit, that's really bad. Okay. Two, one. There's that. One, one. There's the core. We have 40 health and we do 40 damage, and it has 90 health and it does 10 damage. One, two, three. That was a close call, but we got it. We made some poor choices, and it was for 1.5 for 1500 isk. Okay. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Why not? So then you uh, you finish the canisters, you do this, 
And sometimes you want to actually control B and make another safe spot, SS2. Um, just because this will not spawn in their location and it'll be a really good safe spot in the future. And you uh, then warp back to your safe spot, cloak the fuck up. And that is how you hack right there. Uh, it can be worth a lot more than that. It typically, uh, especially if you do Sancha or Garistas or um, Sites, Angels too sometimes, are typically worth a lot more, like a lot more, like a lot more. I've had canisters open up and give me 54 million, 60 million uh, worth of loot. So it's definitely, it's definitely worthwhile to do um, hacking. Data sites are also definitely worth it. A lot of people will tell you data sites aren't worth it. I completely disagree. I feel like any loot is good loot, especially if you're in, in the kind of space where I am, which is up, um, up here where there's not really that much hacking going on. I'm actually looking for a wormhole right now and I was just taking that relic site because I could. But uh, it's not very good hacking where I live, so I take everything I can get. Uh, if you live in Sancha space, Catch, Esoteria, anywhere around there, Stain, um, fucking hack your ass off. You will make so much money. So yeah, that's all. Thank you for joining me on my little hacking tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, please post them in the comments. Alright. I'm gonna put that on YouTube.